Hello everyone, today we're doing a real quick video on SharkBite install. I've been asked a few times to show an install and instead of going through all the wiring, I think uh, at this point, doing things like tinning and soldering and stripping and stuff like that is kind of just wasted time. And so uh, I've got uh, one, I've actually got two set up here. This is the one I've been flying around since pre-production days. Uh, you can see, still got the number 12 on it, just like when I did that video, that video originally. Uh, and then I've got a uh, Crazy B F3 Pro here. Uh, this one has the Crazy B F4 version 3 inside of it. Uh, so this is basically the wiring. And I'll put an image on screen so you can see this a little bit easier. But we've got two wires. We've got the yellow wire here that is going to TX3. And we've got the green wire, which is going to RX3. So you don't line those up. They don't go straight through. The manual's a little bit confusing about this because, well, one, they don't have the manual for this board up yet. Uh, you just have the two-layer board, uh, but it doesn't show that you twist those. So uh, from RX to TX, from TX to RX. So you switch those. And that's essentially what we've got here. Hopefully I can zoom in close enough that you can see this. Let me get a clear image. There, I think we can see it. So we've got ground, voltage, RX, and TX. And then on the board, TX, RX. So you just switch those two wires. Uh, as far as power requirements go, straight from the manual, uh, these do require anywhere from 2 to 6S. Let me zoom back out. And if you're running, they recommend if you're running over 4S or I would really go 4S or above to use capacitors. I've got several different capacitors out here. Uh, you probably, when you're going 4S, 5S, or 6S, should probably use an appropriately sized uh, capacitor. They're recommending a large capacitor, which they have at 220 microfarads. So I really don't think that's large. This is a 1,000 microfarad capacitor, if we can get that to focus from the camera, 25 volts. Uh, this one was previously on something, it looks like. This is a 25 volt, 330 microfarad capacitor. And this is a 10 volt, 470 microfarad capacitor. So that should give you an idea of the different sizes. But if you're doing 2S like I have been, there's really no need for a capacitor. But uh, the, just again, the manual does state 5 or 6S. I would start at 4S just to be safe to add an appropriately sized capacitor depending upon the number of cells that you're running. Uh, the other thing we need to do on the board is we need to turn MSP on for our particular port. And it's really important that you have a full UART, a full TX and RX that matches on your board. Not all WOOP boards do that. Uh, most flight controllers, I think, that are 16 by 16 or 20 by 20 should have at least one full spare UART. So if your receiver is using one part of the UART, you can't, you know, piggyback off of that. You've got to have one full UART just for the SharkBite system, whether that's RX1 and TX1 or RX2 and TX2. It really doesn't matter what the number is. You just have to have solder pads on your board for both RX and TX, and then you turn on the corresponding UART uh, for MSP. And really, that's it. Uh, let's turn it on and I'll do a proof of concept. I have these out because I do have, uh, well, this is going in a build. And then I have yet another build here that I'll be doing as well. Um, of course, I've got the Foxeer DigiSight camera in this one and the uh, stock run cam camera I'm going to be running on this one. I'll get set up to plug in and I'll try to show you the goggles, the proof of concept that it works. I've got everything in shot just so you don't think I've got some sort of bait and switch going on here. Uh, and I've got my little switch set up here and my little battery over here. So no tones because we don't have any wires or anything hooked up. You can see uh, if your voltage is too low, it does require at least, uh, like I said, 2S or 7 volts. If your voltage is too low, you won't get the blue light. That's one way of knowing. Hopefully you can see that blue light there. Well, if you can't, there is a red and a blue light right there. And let's go into the goggles here. Let's try to get, this is going to be, oh, my lenses are really dirty. Hopefully you can see some sort of image in there. Let me see if I can move my hand. I know this isn't great. I should have a monitor out or something. Where's the camera at? Hopefully you can see I'm moving the camera around. So it works out just fine. When you buy the Whoop board, you also get a capacitor. This is a 330 microfarad capacitor. It's a 50 volt. That didn't focus very clearly. Come on, camera. There we go. 50 volts, 330 microfarads. You also get the four wires that you need that aren't terribly long, but provided your uh, installation, it should work just fine. And you have this adapter plate too. So if you're using a different stack, size, dimension, should accommodate you there. It also does breakouts on the corner, so you can clip those off if you need to. Essentially, you just grab them with a pair of needle nose and you just kind of twist and they snap right off. Just like the board has the same things. You can see I've already pulled those off on my particular board. They break off real cleanly, real neatly. 
no problems there. So super simple to get one going for yourself. Uh, just make sure, like I said, if you're using an all-in-one or really any board, make sure you have a full UART that's going to be spare outside of your receiver that you can use for SharkBite to connect to and to communicate. Uh, Betaflight currently is not all the way supported as far as the OSD elements go. Uh, you'll find some of them work. I don't have a full list in front of me of which ones work and which ones don't. Again, make sure you use an appropriate size capacitor. I would start at 4S, but Fat Shark recommends anything 5S or 6S as an appropriately sized capacitor. They recommend the 220 microfarad capacitors. High quality capacitors are also important. Uh, you can do your research on your own. Panasonic is oftentimes suggested. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, or otherwise, please let me know in the section down below. I appreciate your time and thanks for watching.